Hi, my name is Venkat Raman KR and I'm responsible for the technical architecture of Finical suite of products. Hi, my name is Saran Bamakanti. I am from IBM. Uh, I'm responsible for uh, working with the business partners uh, in the area of uh, core banking and payment. I work with business partners to deliver these solutions on IBM Linux One platform. It's been almost 12 months since we last caught That's up. That's right, yeah. It's fantastic to catch up with you again. Thank you, yeah. Uh, I was just wondering, uh, in these last 12 months, you obviously had an opportunity to interact with a number of customers. Sure. And like you said, you know, specifically in the context of Linux One. So what is it that you're hearing from customers on the ground? I mean, where do they see their um, digital banking strategies and their co-banking strategies going forward? Uh, and you know, if there is something specific from a Linux One point of view, I mean, I'll speak to you a little bit later in terms sure. of what we've done on the front. Sure. But what is it that you're hearing from customers uh, in terms of these two areas? Sure. Well, very good question. And I could tell you this, uh, um, in the past two, three years, uh, you know, post coming out of COVID, uh, things didn't slow down, I'll tell you that. And uh, yeah. there's been a lot of activity. Uh, and the banks want to really get ready for the next 10, 15 years. Um, they're looking at a number of things. Uh, they're looking about, you know, how do I support the sustainability goals? Um, in, in, and, uh, you know, they all, they all have a strategy, uh, but they want the uh, IBM and their business partners uh, to, you know, ensure um, how do I get to that, uh, uh, the goals that I have committed to the business? Uh, that's one area. Thing. They want to leverage various technologies that are uh, important. You know, many of these banks are moving away from product-centric to customer-centric. Okay. And they want to be able to uh, deliver the solutions to, uh, to their client base uh, very quickly. Uh, because if they don't, there's always others uh, that want to deliver it and, and yep, so they may lose their customer base. So there's a lot of activity uh, in that space. You know, then the payments is another area and, and uh, uh, another, you know, supporting the regulation. So uh, this is where um, there's, there's a lot of investment going in uh, from the banks um, and want to be ready for the next 10, 20 years, as I said. Um, so that's, that's what I I see. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, so I think that kind of, uh, you know, aligns very well with what we are seeing on the ground today as well. And, you know, just to fill you in in terms of uh, some of the good work that we've done, uh, I think it's been almost 24 months now since Finical sure. has been focusing um, extensively in terms of modernizing our own architecture. Uh, and I think, uh, you know, I'm very happy to share with you that uh, we've reached a stage now where uh, our, our entire core banking platform is sure. completely containerized and it is actually componentized too, so it is no longer uh, one big monolith. Mm -hmm. We actually ship each one of the modules as independently deployable, sure. manageable, and scalable containers. And in that context, uh, we're actually ready on every major cloud service provider. Uh, and when you guys you know, announced the support for OpenShift on Linux One, it was really a very exciting proposition for us, because like I said, in addition to supporting uh, the public cloud hyperscalers, we were also ready on OpenShift on the x86 platform. So when we got to know that you actually support yeah. OpenShift on Linux One, um, in a sense it was music to our ears. Sure, yeah. Uh, because you know, uh, what we've been hearing from many of our sales folks on the ground is that a number of prospects as well as potential existing customers have a mainframe. So we thought that this was a great opportunity Absolutely. for us to leverage that capability sure. and give them the opportunity to run Finical on a private cloud model on the mainframe. So that's when we kind of work with your team yeah, in terms yeah. of making Finical containers ready on the Linux, Linux One platform. And I must tell you that this was a pretty, um, I won't say it was seamless, it did take effort. Sure. But yeah. it is an activity that went without too much of a glitch. Um, for us, it involved a little bit of recompilation from our side to get the images ready on Linux One. But after that, I think this testing was pretty smooth. It, even it's a huge mod, you know, uh, for, uh, you know to bring in it from one architecture to another architecture, it didn't take a, much effort, right? It didn't, it didn't. Yeah. So yeah. I think uh, it was only a question of binary compiler sure. compatibility. Uh, and the only thing that we had to do to address that was to recompile. Yeah. So we did have some challenges in terms of getting the right compiler versions and things like that to get it recompiled, uh, especially the uh, the business logic tier, tier where some of it resides on C. Yeah. But otherwise, I think it was a pretty seamless process. Um, the functional testing went through without any glitch as such. 
Um, and I think we saw some great numbers when it came to performance as well. Sure. Right. So we were able to, we ran both uh, corporate as well as retail workloads on it. Uh, and yeah, so they were pretty impressive numbers that we saw at the end of it. Um, and I think it is on the, on the basis of this confidence that we were actually able to take it to a customer. Um, and I think, uh, you know, I'm happy to share with you that uh, a large bank in Europe um, is actually in the process of implementing this uh, on the ground today. And they should be going live with it sometime in the, uh, in the first quarter of the coming calendar year. So I think it's been a great um, opportunity for us to work together on Linux One. And we've seen some very good results. So Saran, I really hope that you know we will be able to make uh, more such wins on the Absolutely, Linux One platform yeah. as we go forward. Absolutely, and I am eager. And and um, I've read about the the solution uh, in, uh, when it was uh, put together, some of the benchmark data, and and uh, it came out really well. Um, um, as you know, core bankings are very large, many many components, but nevertheless, uh, we were able to get all this done uh, yeah. as a as a team with excellent partnership. Uh, and on top of that, um, you know, we had to work remotely because of COVID. Uh, yeah. uh, but and because of the trust we have with the common goals, we were um, did a super job of uh, delivering this. Yeah, and I think the other interesting thing also, which you know, people will be interested in knowing, is that it is not just about Finical and Linux One, because once we take this as a, a private cloud model. It's really important that the other dependent components, right, sure. which are supported uh, by Finical, also are a part of this um, platform uh, or the Linux One ecosystem. And in this context, I think uh, quite a few components, for example, Finical leverages the concept of Istio uh, as a part of our service mesh architecture. Sure. And components like this uh, is something which uh, Saran and team were able to bring into the Linux One ecosystem to make the entire porting exercise uh, very seamless for us. And I think all of this is going to make the platform extremely resilient as we go forward. So I think it's a great opportunity for both of us to expand take this it. forward to other customers as well. Absolutely. And I'm sure that other customers on the mainframe will be able to leverage this capability very well. Absolutely. And the other thing is, uh, um, you know, the core banking portion is enabled and, then, uh, and made available. And then, you know, we want to expand the other products um, along with that because a lot of the customers, you know, they, they want to look at payments, they want to look at treasury and, and other, so uh, that's another opportunity that w we can work together on, uh, uh, to, to expand the portfolio of the products that, are, that could be available on the platform. Absolutely, Saran, and I really, really look forward to that. Thank you. Thank Me too. You. Yep.